If you're new to pour over coffee, the terminology can be pretty confusing. It shouldn't have to be though. In this video, we'll walk through some key terms of the pour over coffee process as we make ourselves a cup of coffee. We'll begin by weighing or dosing out our coffee beans. The amount of coffee you use during brewing is your dose. Next, we'll give the beans a quick spray. This is called RDT or Ross Droplet Technique. It's a process of applying a very small amount of water to coffee to minimize static while grinding. From there, we'll grind our coffee. Our grind size refers to how coarsely or finely we grind our beans. For pour over, a medium fine to medium coarse grind consistency is common. As we prepare to brew our coffee, we'll add hot water to our filter in the brewer. This pre-wetting the filter and preheating the brewer help remove any potential paper taste from our final cup and help with heat retention while brewing. Then we'll add our coffee to the brewer to make our coffee bed. The coffee bed is a layer of grounds in your brewing device. We'll now begin to brew our coffee. We start by adding a small amount of water, usually two to three times the weight of the coffee dose, and then wait. This process is called the bloom and helps activate the coffee for brewing. Depending on the freshness of the coffee and its roast level, you'll likely see the grounds bloom upwards and bubble. Once water is mixed with the coffee bed, you'll sometimes hear the mixture of water and coffee in the brewing device called the slurry. In many pour over recipes, you'll hear about pulsing or pulse pours, which simply refers to the process of pouring water over the grounds in set intervals. Finally, drawdown. This refers to the process of water flowing through the coffee grounds after the final pour. And that's it. Those are some common terms in the pour over process. If you have any other terms you're confused by, let me know in the comments and I'd be happy to help.